Redesigned for 2023, the Hyundai Tucson trades wallflower looks for spicy styling and an ultra-frugal hybrid option. This five-seat SUV has a spacious, well-equipped cabin with plenty of standard tech and even more on the options list. Non-hybrid versions use a 2.5-liter inline-four, while hybrids swap in a turbo-four that works in concert with an electric motor to conserve fuel and add power. All-wheel drive is optional with the base engine and standard on hybrids. The Tucson ASTFS crash testing, landing a top safety pick plus award. All models come with automatic emergency braking and active lane control, while blind spot monitors, adaptive cruise control, a surround view camera system, and blind spot cameras are on the options list depending on trim level. Gas models are rated as high as 26 miles per gallon city, 33 highway, 29 combined with front wheel drive, though all wheel drive tents those figures to 24 slash 29 26 of a mile per gallon. Hybrids are thriftier yet at 38 slash 38 slash 38 for the frugal minded blue and 37 slash 36 slash 37 for other versions. The Tucson plug-in hybrid is rated for up to 33 miles on electricity alone and then 35 mph after that. The base Tucson's 187 horsepower 2.5 liter inline 4 pairs well enough with its 8-speed automatic transmission, but we are most impressed with the smooth, even quicker, not to mention more frugal, hybrid. It uses a 1.6 liter turbo 4 link to an electric motor and a 6-speed automatic transmission, plus it comes standard with all-wheel drive. Acceleration is linear with the turbo, while the base engine can hesitate at times. All versions have light steering and a supple ride, even with the optional 19-inch wheels. The Tucson is at home on an open road thanks in part to terrific driver assistance tech. Sit in an elite model, then in an inline model, and could be persuaded that they are different vehicles altogether, such as the amount of difference the inline package adds to the Tucson's cabin. The standard fare in an Elite grade is definitely geared more towards luxury, while the N-Line version is for those who like their interior sporty but also very dark. That's because the cabin is trimmed with black headlining, and there are black fabric elements with red crosshatch stitching bits on the dash as well. Of course, you get sports seats with leather and suede trim and end logos, and there's red trim on those chairs as well. Combined with a mass of black plastic trim, this is a very cocoon-like interior. But, it's lifted with the twin 10.25-inch screens, which are bright and colorful. The controls for the aircon and media take some getting used to, as they are a haptic-style touch-sensitive setup, which can be hard to get to grips with, literally, when you're driving. At least it's a bit more usable than some other cars which run everything through the screen. There's SatNav, which includes new cloud-based navigation thanks to the addition of Hyundai's Blue Link deck or you can connect your phone via USB for smartphone mirroring, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There is good storage, including cup holders between the seats, a caddy in front of the gear selector for a phone slash wallet slash keys, bottle holders in the doors, a covered center console bin, and a section under the bridge of the center console for bigger items. If you have children, there are isofix points in the window seats and top tether attachments for all three spots. There are directional vents in the back and a pair of USB charge points as well. Storage is sorted by way of a pair of cup holders and a flip-down armrest, bottle holders in the doors, and mesh map pockets on the backs of both front seats. The Tucson earned a top safety pick plus award from the FS. The NHTSA wasn't quite as impressed and gave the Tucson a 4-star overall rating for AWD models, forward models earned 5 stars. Automatic emergency braking lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and driver attention monitors are standard equipment. Blind spot monitoring is included on every trim except the base SE. Limited models get a bundle of extras including a surround view camera system, a highway driving assist mode, and an advanced parking assist. Despite its affordable price point, there's nothing cheap about the Tucson's driving dynamics. The Tucson feels stable and sure-footed when navigating turns, the steering is responsive and sufficiently weighted, and its ply and suspension soaks up bumps and dips in the pavement with aplomb. It's quite easy to park and maneuver in tight areas as well, and the brakes provide strong stopping power. Overall, the Tucson offers a nice blend of comfort and agility, 